Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so see, these are some of the ones that I did for my quilt. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of designs. There's a woman, I didn't color it. And I drew it with a thin color marker. And this one is the hands of Fatima. And it also has a lot of little designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually draw one for you, for you to see exactly what I'm going. <clears throat> so you use a thin point marker, such as this. Um, or you could use a pencil, but I like the thin point markers. It just seems to bring out the most. So what I'll do for this one is that I'm going to also draw a face, sort of three quarters, um, maybe not actually. And then the eyes, again, we're doing sad, sad. And then I'm closing it up. Happy, happy. Okay, and eyelid. Nose. And I wanna go ahead and make some eyelashes, eyeliner, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows. I'm not sure if you could see all of that. <clears throat> but basically the idea is to think of yourself as when you're drawing. Um, I particularly like all these designs. I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of create sort of like a bandana type of thing here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make leaf designs. It's like you're doing eyes. And I'm gonna make it seem like there's also all these beautiful flowers that I'm seeing here, um, which I think are very pretty to do. So it's almost like if this person has a crown of some sort, and then I could color it in later. Continuing. And continuing over here as well. Okay. So the idea is that this person, I'm gonna go actually, the head looks a little strange there. I'm going to actually bring the neck down the face. I want to have the earring. So the earring is going to show so I can do something elaborate like this long sort of earring type of thing. And because earrings could be pretty long. I mean, they can be heavy the longer they are, but they could definitely be something that's really long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a neck over here and actually act like this person has her hair up in braids, right? And it's also over there. And over here, I'm going to just go ahead and do a neckline, shoulders. And I will just go bring that down. I can pretend this is actually maybe it could be sort of like a choker that she has. Choker is a necklace that kind of, and then this could go maybe a little bit further down. As far as cleavage um, and collar then for her outfit. And I'm actually going to try to do sort of what I got going over here, which are all these like little designs. And dark eyes because I like dark eyes and I have dark eyes. Um, and then over here, I can think of all these other things that maybe I would like to add. I can also put words here if I wanted to. And just going around and making like sort of waves and continue. Okay, so there it goes, right? <clears throat> so I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and color. So I'm gonna be using this. So I strongly suggest that when you are getting your color pencils, you get something that has at least 24 colors. 
Um, Fabric Castle is really good. I know this is Stadler's. Stadler is pretty good too. But Fabric Castle also has very nice colors and you has gold, I believe, in the larger packet. So you want to be able to have something that has many colors. Sometimes I think it's um, one that starts with an M that has actually double-sided colors. So this has a really big array of colors. And you want, if you have a lighter color, then you can color with a color pencil and it works out just as well. So I'm going to go ahead. Now I want my person to sort of be on the tan side. So I'm going to go with a very light brown and I'm going to color her face in. Um, if you have a light color construction paper, it doesn't end up being a problem to color. And if it's a lighter, if it's a darker color, then you either, either have to press really hard or your other option would be to um, use crayon, which I mentioned before in my previous, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some red and we actually have a white color pencil. Usually we don't need it, but I'm going to use white oopsies for the parts that are inside the eye. And I'm going to go continue drawing, coloring the skin. And one of the things that I didn't do, I didn't add that earring because it was a little bit more complicated, but now I'm going to just go ahead and do that, right? And act like, you know, this is actually there so that it shows that it's joining also from the other side. I'm going to continue with her skin because it is that part of the dress. Okay, and I want black hair. You could do any color hair. I suggest you do hairs that actually represents you as a person, meaning like if, oh, I almost forgot to color the ears. Um, if you have black hair, celebrate what makes you you. If you have reddish brown hair, then use that. But celebrate things that look like you, you know. Um, my thing is appreciating yourself for who you are and all of your background, ethnic background, cultural background, because these are the things that make you unique. These are the things that kind of honor who you are as a person and honor the people who came before you. So I, I always say, make sure that you are, in fact, coloring or coloring the skin, get, creating some sense of diversity. And this is supposed to be autobiographical, which means that if it is in fact autobiographical, then it should in fact celebrate you, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make some leaves for this. Whoopsies. And I'm alternating because not all exactly the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a blue as well. Let's see how we are with the minute. So, so far, this is what I have so far. She's still a little bit on the light side, so I'm going to go ahead and give her a little bit more color by getting a darker brown and just going over it. Um, just give her a little bit more color. And I'm going light. I know it doesn't seem like I'm going light, but I am. The other one I pressed a little harder because I wanted it to show on the yellow. And I'm just going over her skin again. Making sure that you are coloring and doing all those little details, like for instance, these are flowers. You want to make sure that you are also, in fact, and if you notice, I'm, I'm like taking turns. You want to make sure that you are, in fact, kind of just paying attention to the details. Don't draw something. And then when it comes time to color, you mess up and you're not doing the same kind of work that you were doing all along. You want to make sure that you are you are going to color as neatly as you can, make the colors vibrant if that's what you're going for. Um, and then just also, just kind of like, make sure that you're drawing everything. Or you could even add more details. So in this case, I'm doing like a hot pink flower. I'm gonna skip hot pink flower over here. I think I need to, I need to make this a little neater over here because it's not as neat as I want it to be. An orange flower will look really pretty too. In between, this looks a little bit like red from what you're seeing, but it is in fact an orange. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the ends too. I 
I haven't decided what I'm going to do as far as some of these kind of swirl things, but maybe I can go with purple a little bit. I'm not sure. I can kind of even do two colors, right? I can get like the tips of something and just go ahead and create another color over here. So it looks a little bit more interesting. I think this is it about now. So the idea is basically to color it and draw all the details that you can. I'm going to fix it up a bit more and that's pretty much it for now. Have a good one. Bye.